This is Frick Park. I forgot how many acres this is. Got some a little bit of snow and slush on the ground, you know. Gotta get slushy, you know. I think there's like 600 acres in this part. I don't know the correct amount, but I will say 600. But who knows? This is the front of the building. They have, I wouldn't say the front, but you know what I mean. They have the solar panels over there. Collecting that sun. Get that energy for this building, you know. Gotta stay sunny, honey. Got the fountain right here. Take on a little hike. Forgot what trail this is, but this is some type of trail. It's cold. It's like Let's see the weather. It is 35 degrees, but it feels like 27, so it's 27 degrees because, you know, the news people don't know how to put that on the news, you know, but I'm going to do it for them. Honestly, you cannot beat this. Got the woodland area over there. Put my hood on because you know it's kind of cold. It's kind of cold out here. I have a hoodie on. Some people might think I'm weird putting a hoodie on in, in a 27 degrees weather, but you know, it's life, you know, you get used to it, you know. Look at Tony, you know, it's Canadian, eh? What are you talking about, eh? It's milk before cereal. I don't know what I just said, but you know what I mean. So we like four minutes into a walk. I don't know which way I should take y'all. Left or right? Left or right? What do y'all think? Uh, this is hard. Right's always right. Let's go right. I hope I see like a red tail hawk or like a blue jay or something. I'm gonna stop by next to the um the bird feeder and see if we find any birds and make some observations and everything about them. And identify them. Identify. It's an identify. That doesn't make sense. I don't know what I meant. Let's use the word ID. Some of these trees, these trees are super big. One thing about what I learned was the little club of leaves right there could be a squirrel nest because squirrels don't hibernate. Um, yeah, they don't hibernate. And their babies, they hide their babies in the trunk of a tree. So predators won't eat them because they're so small. So these, I think they, I forgot what they call it, but they like to hide their food somewhere. The nuts, they will basically go hunt in the winter, I said the fall, 
collect all the nuts that, as they can for the winter so they won't starve in the winter because it's kind of hard to find nuts in the winter with all the snow and everything so and they tend to forget where they misplace their um the nuts because they place a lot everywhere so that's a good fun fact i will say please stay on the trail nature is at work look at this view see i told y'all right it's always right Whew, I, I could be a, a professor on this it's all cool it feels like when i used to work here or just be here basically made me feel like you know he was isolated from the world like you couldn't hear no vehicles he wasn't really on, if he wasn't on your phone you felt like you was actually into nature in a way of like not feeling anything not feeling like you have pressure over you by like all of this technology or just anything basically and coming out here it made me feel like you know I was just away from the world and it felt good to be honest and I would recommend everyone to go out here or somewhere in the nature and just to relax and get things off your mind and everything and that's the perfect environmental center right there it's very sustainable the building it's it lives on its own basically it just don't eat by itself But you know, it's okay. So which way should we go? Is it right, it's always right, or left? I don't have a saying for that, but you know, great one, you know, if you're watching this video, make one up and start using it. Because I can't be there for you all the time. All right, I'm going with right on, I'm going with the right. It's cold, I'm shivering. Can even can even talk right now. We have some people down there. Hopefully I can interview them. So they ain't gonna be with it. Like, get out of here. I don't know you. I don't know you. I swear in like the summer and everything, all of this stuff is like straight green. It's like, can't even see like what's up or what's down or what's across. It's just like, you just see only green basically. But it's cool. Oh, we have a nice lake to our left. I'm going to show you all in a second. Uh-oh. Sounds like there's some conflict over there. Uh-oh. Get to me. Give me 10,000 likes on MySpace and I will jump in this with one sock on. I promise you. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. You got mushrooms right there. It's a lot of fungi. And they got liking on it. Oh. Fungi. What? Well, liking is fungi. But I never seen it on a mushroom. But 
it's a fire hydrant. There's a fire hydrant in the trail. Learn something new every day, you know? It's not really learning nothing, but you know what I mean. Right? Right? What are you talking about, D? There's a house over there that's really nice. We were about to go see if the lake or the stream is frozen from everything. I can't take you on a full hike, but I'm going to go my father's because it is a hike back up, but I got y'all. Look at that. That would be so nice to walk across, but you are going to slip. That'd be cool if it's dry and just run over. Let's just imagine if this like stream was like filled with water. That'd be cool. We have a stream right here. Remember guys, running running water can never freeze. I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please. Yes. I'm gonna go to this little bin right here and stop and walk back up because like I said, this is I want to hike. I can't take you off on a full hike because I'm not prepared and I only have little time in this city, so I have to make the best of it. This is what I could get. I'm sorry. If you want to see all of it, you can come to Pittsburgh. Uh, this is some type of invention to stop deers and everything for eating the native bushes and stuff. Because we need them, because poison ivy and different, um, what do you call it? Invasive plants and bushes are taken over. So we have to beat that. Really Japanese knockweed. That is something that you do not want in your backyard at all. This is the farthest I'm taking y'all. Look at this view. Nice, is it nice? Okay, let's leave. Sight, I got y'all. Look at that. It's nice. It's time for the hike back up because it's cold. My fingers, my fingers is cold, and I have to go to the thrift store. You know, they got liking on a tree. On the, it's not a tree, but a piece of a tree that fell. You know, liking is a good sign of good air. Uh, it was taught, I think. Basically, good, good air, what you call it, pollution? Would you put that in a sentence? Y'all know what I meant. But that can indicate, like, we have good air in some way. If, like, there's no, like, pollution or anything, you know, air. Good oxygen, you know? You know? We have a bench that's over there for no reason, and it's cold. Like, right here, I will tell y'all, like, honestly, like, sitting right here on, like, a Saturday afternoon, why it's not cold, you know, don't come in the cold unless you're, like, very prepared. But just coming out here, whew, I'm tired. But coming out there and just sitting there on, like, a Saturday night in the spring, why it's, like, somewhat hot, it's, like, the best thing you could ever do. It's better than a college football game, to be honest. But it matters, it matters who's playing, though. No USC, because USC tweet. No dissing California, but you know what I mean. 
Whew. I can hear it in my breath. I'm tired. It's all right. What else is a fun fact about nature? I don't know. I'm tired. I need a V8. Um. Yeah. I would tell y'all something about that stuff on the rock, but I forgot what what it is. It feels like I know the name, but I just can't pronounce it. Whew. The elevation. Look at that. It looked like a funnel cake. You just eat it. Sorry for my huffing and puffing. I'm tired. That is the beautiful freaking vitamin of center. Look at this hill. Whew. I am not dressed in the right materials, but you know. Like they say, anything's possible, right? Whew. Squirrel! Yes! Eat up, buddy. Eat! What are you doing, buddy? Buddy! Sharon's caring, you know that? You have to share it, buddy. Buddy, don't be crying up there, buddy. This is live action from a squirrel eating. What are you doing? Oh, why are you leaving? I'm sorry. I will leave you to be. I don't want you to attack me. He saw me. He saw me recording him. He was telling me, no recording in public, buddy. My squirrel. First Amendment right to film. It is cold. This is the rain garden. It's not the rain garden. But rain comes from up there. Shoots on there. And go right back into our environment. How sustainable. Back up some stairs. feeders okay, nice bird feeders it's pretty nice to chill right here when it rains Let's 
go through the little door. Yeah, because I'm little. Through the little door. Boom. Nice view. Sorry if this video is super long. I hope it was worth it. I might do another one very soon. Hopefully. And if you enjoyed, please leave a like. Share it. Share it to everybody. You know, just share it, you know. We have a slavery from freedom garden. This is where slave was around and what they eat ate on it and nothing's grown right now but they get the picture basically have all uh, native stuff in here we have everything in this front of this building and around the building is native to eastern Pennsylvania if you want to put it that way and Keep the invasive out. We don't want them. We have these two towers that protects the this place. I won't say protect, but you know, like I said, you know what I mean. And this is the front. And that's the end of the show. Deuces.